Hi, Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com. It's July 25th, 2012. Out inspecting a 1966 Chevrolet Corvette. Four speed car, big block car, Mossport Green. Just getting ready to take her out for a test drive. Just finished up with about a three hour long comprehensive inspection. We got her jacked up and got hundreds of photos. Engine temps all cool at 90 degrees. Show you real quickly that we've got a numbers matching block stamped October 15th. As a 425 horse car, IP is the code for that, attached to a manual transmission if you can see that. No obvious brooch marks on the pad, but it doesn't look like it's got any grinder marks either, and the VIN stamp's appropriate. And uh, we took some high resolution photos of that to kind of study when we get back to the office and make sure that we uh, know what we're looking at. Engine bay's uh, detailed as a driver. It's got the correct Winters Foundry aluminum intake and the correct uh, chrome shielding over standard conventional ignition still. Radiator's been re -cored. Uh, still got some tower clamps on period hoses. Got these GM uh, coated and striped. See those fins, the stripes on the hoses? Those are the original real deal right there. That's a, a changed battery with a aftermarket ground disconnect. A little bit of touch-up work was done on those exhaust manifolds. Nothing spectacular. Front suspension looks okay. It's not freshly rebuilt, but the A-arm bushings are not rotting out. Oil's clean. Antifreeze is clean. It's got a really nice set of well-survived factory original caps that he took thinner and cleaned off the paint or silk screening on the insides and just likes that silver look to them. Gold line Coker Classic tires. Car's uh, very solid and clean underneath for an unrestored um, vehicle. The dog legs of the frame look sufficiently solid and dry. Minor surface rust here and there, but nothing uh, too much to be concerned about. The shields are missing in the forward floor tubs that uh, kind of help divert some stone splash and whatnot. But the tubs themselves are very sound and solid underneath the vehicle. Let's get ready to take her for a ride. Oil pan looks good. No active leaks coming out of the main seal. It's been rebuilt. Body and paint are done really, really nice. Repainted in an original lacquer. Well sanded and buffed. The reflective quality is very nice. You can see a large bold print in that reflection from quite a distance, really good for a light color. The body man took some additional time and really finessed the lines of the car. <clears throat> a lot of these coupes don't have lines this good. The way the doors fit all the way around. Someone's definitely taken some time and uh, put the car together nice. We're getting ready to take her for a ride, so come on along. Oh, shit. Slight delay. While we're delaying, I'll tell you, Auto Praise has uh, 310 inspectors nationwide. We're out doing classic car inspections, jacking them up, test driving them, magnet testing them. Can't figure out why the magnet test failed on this car today, huh? Subtle attempt at humor there. The clock works. Got an original style AM FM radio that does make some noise. Yep. I ran the power antenna up. 66, I believe, was the first year for power antenna. Yes. And it, uh, it does work. Nice little rumble to the side exhaust. Coiled, cold oil pressure. It's about 40 pounds at idle. Run that over there really quick. Temperature gauge still sits below 100. We're just getting, just getting now started. Speedometer seems to be operating without a bounce. Tachometer seems to be functioning without issue. Fuel gauge shows uh, about three quarters of a tank of gas. The t interior is, has, has had some restorative work done. These coves appear to be original and uh, don't really show us any cracks or any issues. Dash face has been repainted. All the knobs and all the chrome appear to be original. 
original components. Quartz H clock. Excuse me? Quartz clock. Oh, the quartz clock. I showed that that was working earlier, but uh, quartz replacement clock. Original trim around the shifters. Got just small little general wear. My new dings. Ashtray works and the inside of that has been changed. Original uh, Chevrolet seat belts in place. A little bit of rust on the bolt heads that hold them to the floor. The front of this carpet kit was changed and the rear carpet kit was not. It was an original uh, set back there. There is some fading and some wear on the bottom. The back pieces look a little nicer. The roof panel was repainted and the uh, headliner possibly recovered. Mirror's in great shape. Original set of door panels look real nice. They may have been uh, re-dyed, but there's no major rips or tears in them, and the original hardware is looking pretty good. Yeah, that, that steering wheel's not fighting or hopping. 
nothing at all. Suspension feels good. Not much drift or fade. I'm going to stab the brakes on here when we get up to the uh, stop. And Chevrolet Corvette. Thanks for watching.